Lake Through Eagle, Douglas, did that win surprise you a bit at Happy Valley last time? I think it surprised a lot of people, although he is a nice individual, but uh, we thought that Happy Valley might be a little bit testing. Um, but he, he showed good character, and um, when, when the splits came, he, he, got, he knuckled down and hit the line well. How has he come through that run? I think he's come on mentally. I think uh, any horse that can do that first up at the Valley will come out of that um, and, and improve. What about coming to the bigger track here at Shatin for the first time? I think it'll help him. I, it certainly is not going to hinder his chances. Um, I think having that experience at the Valley, he's going to come to Shatin and he's, he's going to be a little bit more forward. I think he's come out of the run and appreciated and enjoyed the race, so he's a nice horse going forward. Monica Douglas, that was a bit of a form turnaround last time? It was. John's done a, a tremendous job with him to, to get him to attack the line the way he did. Look, I mean, I was held up for a while and I managed to, to angle out and when I did get the run, he, he let down well. So um, he seems in good enough order going forward. He seems to have held his form. I don't think he's improved, but I think he's held his form and if he's done that, well, he's going to be competitive again. Is a draw a bit of a concern for you? It is a bit. Last time he had a, a really easy time of it and the draw was a, a significant help in the race. Um, he, he's got a li little bit more up his sleeve this time to, uh, to attend with. But again, you know, the horse is in good form, so he's going to race as well. You won a People's Night on Saturday, taking your tally to the season for 20. Last season for the whole season, you rode 28. What's changed this season, Douglas? Are you riding better? Are you getting more opportunities? How have things changed for you? Um, yeah, I think I'm getting a lot, a lot more support. I, I'm, I'm certainly enjoying working closely with John, uh, John Moore. He's, he's been great and um, we've seemed to have hit a nice note and we've got a, a good stri strike rate at the moment. But I'm just enjoying, I'm enjoying the work at the moment and the racing and I'm feeling good. Alexi, you've ridden Hinch and Love at his last two runs. That looked like an improved run last time out. Is he a horse that's getting better? Yeah, absolutely. He's um, he's absolutely improving compared to his uh, two first starts. He gave me a very strong finish last time. I, I, I think he's uh, he got the ability to win a, a class two like this. Is 1,200 meters a better distance for him as well? I think he's between 12 and 1,400. Uh, I think he, he, it seemed to me that he he wants a bit further, but he he's a nice horse. He. He's very he's very easy to ride, you know. He he listens the orders, so no problem for him. I have a, a draw a bit a bit outside this time, so hopefully the the pace will be fast enough fast enough to to finish. Joe Conti, this is his biggest test to date. How do you think he'll measure up at group level for the first time? I think he's gonna go good. He's he's been doing everything straightforward so far. He's done nothing wrong. And we do have very high opinion about him. He's a very nice horse. What about the wide gate? Sometimes it doesn't play badly because, uh, in particular, the way how he races. He's a, a kind of a momentum type of a horse, likes, likes to use his big stride and cover ground. Hor getting horses in front of him may not be a good thing. So I actually don't see the outside gate being too bad to him. Eh? That may even help him out. So. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to cope it. How do you measure him up against a horse like Nothing I Like More? They're both from the size stable, both five-year-olds, but both have had different career paths till this point. It's hard to compare horses because I also have very high opinion about Nothing I Like More. We, you wonder why I chose to ride him on the derby last, last season. Also rode him on the international mile. So it means I do have high opinion about him. But Conti seems a horse that has got plenty of upsides. And he keeps on giving us that confidence. That's why I'm riding him. Obviously, Sais also advised me to ride him. He seems like he thinks the horse has, has got plenty of upsides. But comparing horses, I wouldn't like to. But what I can say is that nothing I like more based on his trial the other day. If I get bitten by him, I won't be surprised because I, I have, I, I have a, lot of, a lot of a good opinion about him. Why Cuckoo, Jack? What did you think of his first app run here? I think it was pretty good. I think uh, he was just unlucky to not win the race. Uh, sometimes that gives the horses a chance also to stay on the same grade and uh, build up on themselves a little bit, um, a little bit more knowledge about what race is about. If he had won, he would have gone up in class and he would have find it a bit harder. So I'm happy to have him in the class that he is at the moment. I think I think he's a very nice type of a horse, a horse that will handle the longer distance even better. 
and I think he's the type of horse that we have uh, as one off to be looking forward to. Could he be a, a four-year-old series type of horse? He feels like, and uh, as I said, he might be one of those that when, once we step up to longer, maybe even better. So yeah, he's one of those that I'm excited about.